Welcome to Avatar Journey, guys. Just an update on the squash. They've got huge. This is my hand, and they're getting really big. The rind is getting hard. Now I'm just gonna wait for them to kind of get that brownish color, and then that's when I will pluck them. Today is July 4th, so we got a fairly early harvest. I'm pretty sure once they get that brown color, we can we can hold on to them until well until September and October. But this one, we have six that have pollinated, and they are good to go. And then this one over here, we also have six. So it's like we did six and six. smaller one. That one's the biggest one I think back there. And that one right there. And then the other one over here. I did cut away some of the dead leaves that were kind of dying from the squash plant, but that's how it looks from the outside. I kind of wish I had to put it more towards me and gave it more room so it wasn't brushing up against the porch, but it's okay. And then this is how the other one looks. Just giving you guys a short video. I'm gonna actually cut them when they get that brownish color. I'm going to um, make a video of that too. So, got some butternut squash coming in. Looking good. And then once they get that color that we're looking for, that's when we're going to cut them from the vine. And then we'll probably store some and then some will probably cook right away. So, appreciate you guys coming through for those of you who are planning on gardening or maybe thinking about starting your garden, this was very easy. I just, I literally just threw the seeds in, indoors, starting them as seedlings, right in the, my living room. Made sure they're getting decent sun once they started growing from the seed pod. And then once they got a decent size, probably about, mm, maybe a little higher than six inches, you know, when the leaves start getting, uh, pretty sizable that's when I transplanted them out here so this one over here when I transplanted it out here it was literally only two leaves it hadn't even grown a full vine yet it was just two big leaves and I planted it in the center of the patch and it turned into this obviously I learned not to plant the watermelon plant because the watermelon plant is just running out of room I kind of just kind of planted it just to see you know but the watermelon plants running out of room so next time I know to give the watermelon plant way more room and like I said, that was a watermelon plant from a store-bought watermelon. I didn't really expect to get watermelon from them, but I just wanted to see. But yeah, hopefully this inspires anybody who's thinking about starting a garden themselves, what it can turn, to turn into if you have a little bit of space. And then these are the eggplants that we have in the vertical. The one indoors on the lettuce grow are producing way faster than these. So I'm about to water. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Ladybug, check it out. And I'll see you guys soon.